data. What is it? I mean, we all know the term, we use it all the time, but what is digitized data? What does it mean for something to be data? I mean, we know everything in the computer is ones and zeros, but what is special about a certain set of ones and zeros that makes it data versus another set of ones and zeros that is not data at all? And fundamentally, it's not at all anything specific about the computer or the way it treats things. Because the computer has no idea what is data and what is not. Data fundamentally comes down to what you, the user, attribute value to. Anything that you find valuable should be considered data, or can be considered data. And by data, we have an abstract idea of what this means, right? It's things like numbers and words and characters and text and sentences and paragraphs and pages, images, video, right? This is data. They, it means something to us when we think about this. But to a computer, it's just a bunch of ones and zeros. And that's because that's all the computer knows how to do. How is it that a computer can represent data that's meaningful to us in the abstract terms that we think about it with a set of ones and zeros so that it can store it down into a file and then whenever we want we can call it back up and see that piece of data, that information that we stored. All the more importantly or similarly importantly we can send that to someone else and they can open up the file and when they look at it they see the same thing that we did. If we typed in that piece of, that piece of text and saved it as a text document and sent it over to a friend, when they open it up, they see the same letters and words and sentences that we wrote, all because it's written in these ones and zeros, but how does it work? How does the computer represent data in a way that makes sense time and time again? What we're asking is this question of representation. What we're asking is, how is data encoded? What is the mapping between ones and zeros and the things that we can attribute meaning to easily. Numbers, words, sentences, pages, paragraphs, images, video. How does this work? Well, again, we said it before, right? It's all ones and zeros. We know that. That means, you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing other than a bunch of ones and zeros in this setup. There is nothing else. And that's what the computer is using. But how does that get mapped into something else? Now, while there's a lot of different structures for data, fundamentally, I mean, broad sweeping strokes, everything comes down to just three examples. There's three major classes of encodings. And again, these are generalities, but by and large, this holds true. There's three major classes of data. There's integers, there's characters, and there's floating point numbers. That's really all there is. If you've got these three down, then everything else is just a combination or an arrangement of these three uh, in pretty much structured ways that, that then makes sense to generate images and movies and video files and pages of text and even books. So that is what's going on here. This is this is how data works. And in the subsequent set of videos, we'll cover each of these classes and a little bit more about how the ones and the zeros are arranged.